Hello, my friend. Welcome to Tube Your Channel. I'm Harry. I have made a multi thread screw that makes the nuts go in different directions when rotating the board. The secret how to make it has been revealed. Use the combine tool and the intersection option using Fusion 360. You can design it very easily. Today, I will tell you how to design a new type of multi thread screw. It is smoother and more interesting than the former one. Stick around, let's start. I usually don't use parametric modeling to capture design history, since my computer is quite old. But this time I will use this mode since I will change some parameters after modeling. As I explained in the last video, the multi thread screw will use different parameters to define the final motor structure. First, we define some parameters. I will use limited parameters to change the motor. We define the height of the board as 60mm. The diameter of the cylinder is 20mm. Click Modify menu, select the Change Parameters and click OK. Now click User Parameters to add a parameter. Define the multi thread number as number 6, no units. Revolution to change the rotation number to no units. Section size as size 5 mm. Clearance is 0.5 mm. Now we start to make a motor. First, make a simple sketch. Draw a circle of 20 mm for the cylinder and draw another circle of 40mm for the support base. Finish sketch. Extrude the circle to 60mm height. Make a cylinder. Make thread using coil tool as before. Select the top surface of the cylinder. Choose the center of the cylinder as the starting point. Use the revolution and height option. Click this small icon can change the clockwise or counterclockwise direction. Leave it alone, we will not use it this time. Choose the diameter of 20mm. Type R and select the revolution. Height, minus 60mm. Make sure it along with the cylinder. Angle, 0. Section, circular. This time we will use this one. Section position, on center. Section size, type S and select size. Operation, new body. Click OK to finish the thread body. Now, one of the threads is finished. We start making it multiply times. Use Create, Pattern, Circular Pattern. Select the thread body we just made as objects. Select the top surface circle of the cylinder as axis. Change quantity to the number. You can type N and select the number. Click OK to finish and multiply the thread body. This time, we will use Combine Tool, Operation Join, to make the board. The target body is the cylinder. Tool bodies are six threaded bodies. Click OK to finish. Now, this one direction thread is finished. We can make another direction thread using the Miller Tool. Select the Miller Tool and select the finished body as objects. Select the top plane of the body as mirror plane. Use operation as new body. Click OK to finish the operation. Now a new different rotation threaded board is finished. Move the new board to the same place as the first one. You will move the body minus 60mm along with Z axis. Now at the same place, we have two boards that have clockwise and counterclockwise reaction parts. Use the Combine tool and select the Intersect operation. Click OK, Finish operation. The remaining part is the intersection part of these two bodies. It means it can work clockwise and counterclockwise at the same time. Now, the most difficult part has been finished. We can start the interesting part here. Things we use parametric motoring to design the motor this time. It means we can adjust the parameters and modify the motor here. Select the Modify menu and click Change Parameters. 
Click the expression to change the parameters. First, we change the number from 6 to 5, 4 or 3. After return enter key to accept the change, the model will change according to the change of parameter. We can see the 5 starting position, 5 times the multi-thread is also quite good looking. But the 4 and the 3 are two less rotation number. We try even larger number such as 8. An unexpected figure occurs. It looks like some mistake occurs. It may be caused by my old hardware or some defect in the software. Anyway, I have no potential to change the results. I try another method to make it right. First, try the larger number, such as 20 times as the initial number. We can slide the icon to the first place, change the number from 6 to 20. Then slide back to the final place. It looks also not war. So we slide to the inter place and multiply the coil as 20 times. Then start here, we change the process manually. Combine all parts together to make it board one direction. Use mirror tool to make a mirror copy of the board. Move them to the same place. Combine them together using intersect operation. Now this time everything is okay. You can see my old computer take quite a time to finish the operation, but everything is fine. Now we can change the parameter again. Change the number to 8. This time everything is good. The larger number, the small grid pattern in the board. We can also change other parameters, such as the revolution and the size. We can find the best parameter for your model. I tried the parameter number 12, revolution 1, and the section size 4.5mm as a test. It looks very beautiful. Now, we can delete the raw operation in the history. Right-click the mouse. Select Delete all marks after historic marker. We are done. In fact, the final parameter is like this. The board height is 120mm. The diameter is 20mm. Rotation 12 times. Revolution 2. Section size 4.5mm. Now, the main part of the multi thread 12 board has been finished. Let's start to make the base. It is very easy to combine the base to the board. Show the sketches figure. Select two circles together. Extrude the height to 8mm and join them together. Use the chamfer or fillet tool to make the space edge smooth. Add some color to it by clicking keyboard A. I select gold as material. Now the board is complete. Now we start to design the nuts. Hide the board. Show the sketches which we have made. Extrude the outer circle ring to make the nuts. The height I tried this time is 15 mm. Make some space between nut and board, which I tried 1 mm this time. Use the press pull tool to add minus clearance as clearance, which means the diameter of the nuts is 21 mm. Create a coil as we have done above. Use similar parameters as above, only change the diameter of 21 mm and the section size to 5 mm.
If you have seen the video here, please do me a favor, subscribe to my channel and click the small bell. So you will not miss an update. Tell me your channel is waiting for you.